July 6, 2005. London wins the bid for the 2012 Olympic Games. From the start, the Olympic project would be about regeneration. The culturally unifying message of the Games promises to reconstruct a deprived part of the capital, Stratford in East London. The site is a vast tract of ex-heavy industrial land falling between Stratford and Hackney Wick. For the first time, this area, always far off the official map, attracts global attention. What is this place? Who are its people? The closer you, you move in towards the main stadium, which is now going to be rebranded as the Westfield Stadium, you will see the detritus of war, concrete machine gun nest, and a series of, of uh, huge bunkers and obstacles that were put down to defend against tanks in wartime invading up the River Lee are now referenced as part of the general artworks around the Olympic site. You see a scattering of, of blocks that look as if it has come from the moment when the Berlin Wall was broken down and detritus was scattered about. And we're into that sort of post-war, pre-war, eternal wartime invasion landscape now. We're surrounded by nothing but these endless fences. So it's a landscape of suspended permissions and it's a pretty bizarre experience to walk through it. Looking at these stadia emerging, I'm very much reminded of a trip I made to Athens while I was researching my book, Ghost Mill. And in Athens, we can kind of shoot into the future and see that, in fact, they very soon became abandoned. There was no way that the Greek economy could, could sustain these incredible stadiums that had been built for this one event, and that they were full of grass, that the trees that had been planted were dead, the athlete's village, which was going to be made over into housing, was not. All the windows smashed, covered with graffiti. Um, immigrants were camping out among the ruins. It was a landscape of ruins. And on the day that I actually was about to leave Athens, people were taking to the streets and rioting because the whole house of cards financially was collapsing. And the pipe dream that this thing had, had mortgaged them to was shown to be an extreme folly. And I think that's the most dramatic demonstration of 
what sits in front of us here if we're not very careful.